Hi, I am the infamous Spirit Tree Nima, aka Spirit Tree Naima. And not only do you all love to watch me in YouTube land, but the person who uh, works at YouTube, he likes to watch and she likes to watch my videos too. How y'all doing, huh? You doing okay, okay. Yes, I know you love it just as much as uh, as we do. Yeah, they do have people that sit down and watch the drama unfold and then they place videos concerning what you're talking about right next to you so y'all can know what a drama is, so you can follow the drama and everything. Hi, how are you? to the YouTube, uh, uh, the little people of YouTube. Uh, how are you? I know these are not the top boss. These are the young people that work YouTube and everything. They make it happen. They make it happen so y'all can get this reality. Even celebrities are watching us. You know how I know? I've had a couple of calls from people who have had relationships from celebrities, with celebrities in the reality show arena. Sure have. And I know that y'all reality show people are watching, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Y'all got the ka-ching, ka-ching. You're getting free, uh, uh, you're getting free, uh, 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 reality gossip of YouTube in this sector over here. I know you're watching. I can see every last one of y'all, mm hmm And I can call y'all names, mm-hmm. <laughs> These are the so-called celebrities of TV. Um, let me. It's a plenty of them, but I can call a few of them's name and everything. Put them on blast and stuff. I ain't gonna do that. Yeah, I, you know, y'all, y'all know I can see pretty good. I see you, so you, can, you can't fool me. Even taking our little jargon and our lingo and everything and using it on reality TV. Yeah, that that would that what you do. That's exactly what you do. I ain't no fool. Mm -hmm. I'm so mad because my lucky hat was left outside, y'all. Y'all know I'm random to y'all. To to uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of you all, even in the sector. I know I see all of y'all, all of y'all in that black YouTube sector and all of you all who... I just know every last one of you because I sit there and I watch it, you. And I said, man, they saying the same thing I'm saying. <laughs> The same thing I say. So all us in this little circle together, in this little bitty pond together, him in this great big old ocean together, all we doing is going back and forth watching each other videos. We can't help but to because guess what? They're gonna put the related videos here so that you can see it. Mm -hmm. And I know who y'all are, and I should call y'all names out, but I ain't gonna do it. Uh huh. It's too mean. I see y'all. I see you. Uh huh. One of y'all, yeah, we go way, way back when you two first started and everything. Yep, you up there in Detroit. You. Mm hmm. And then, you know, there's an older gentleman, which we do admire you too. We really love your lessons. I know you're watching too. Shout out to you. You live over in New Orleans. Mm hmm. Yep, so, mm-hmm, and, and girl, I know you too, Fukushima, Fukushima, I know you watch, <laughs> I, I call you Fukushima, uh-huh, so I'm just telling you, I, I'm, I'm very well aware of who's watching, so anyways, don't feel bad, I just gave y'all a shout out, excuse me, my face is dry, my lips is dry, why, because I scrubbed my lips with baking soda, and I did a baking soda scrub without putting the coconut oil in it coconut oil in it don't ask me why i did it i just felt like it had to be done okay so my lips are a little bit dried out because i don't brush with toothpaste anymore i vow that i won't do it and my teeth feel so much cleaner because toothpaste is nothing right now okay doesn't have enough grit to get the grit off your teeth it's not in there Okay, so know that I am random. There are some celebrity um, singers and stuff out there, artists. I know I'm aware that you're watching too. So I got my eyes on you and your music and stuff. Y'all coming over here to get ideas and stuff. I used to be in a gallery 
what people were copying my ideas for my arts and my paintings. That's why, you know, some things I don't mind giving up. Like I said, feel free to use the music. What about that doll? 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 Yeah, I got some cute little ideas. They ain't all lead. You know, when I was young, I was a an outstanding uh, um, songwriter for the time. You know, now that I'm a little bit older, you know, they're looking for young talent now. And they're saying out with the old and in with the new. So I'm like, okay, I'll scoot over and everything. You know what I'm saying? And um, I got some badass music. I don't care what nobody say, man. I get on that goddamn guitar, man. Because you know I've been to the crossroads, okay? And then I let that that uh, uh, that uh crossroad demon get in me and bring y'all that music. Everybody says they want to see the crossroad demon and they want to see the uh, swamp witch. They will, become, they will be coming back shortly. They they i you know i'm in the body right now <laughs> so the rest of you all can get behind me i'm in the body now okay and i usually like to stay in the body until up until about winter and when winter gets here then i'm gone okay you know the swamp with she got trouble with the with the flies and the skeeters and and the heat and the humidity See, but I'm the one that can tolerate the heat. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Well, who are you, mama, today? No, but and, 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 and not trying to be funny and joke with it and everything because I know there are some people who are tormented by multiple personality disorders. And so I do not want to make any light of that. But I will say as a medium that uh, uh, different spirits do come into me, as you all know, and I'll bring them to... Uh, You'll see it on the on my channel. You know, sometimes I channel. Uh, I'm a channeler now. I can channel the swamp witch, and I seen some people out there channeling me. I'm like, God damn. Uh, uh, but ain't as good as it, uh, uh, with it as I am. But uh, and also while I'm at it now, uh, uh, let me let you know about my credentials to all of you all who are new here. I can make it thunder and I can make it rain. I do uh, conjure elements with the help of my mama or ya and uh, uh it was just i had to take some of that off uh, it was just getting to be a bit much you know what i'm saying it was just like whoa 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 oh well, I, I could just walk out the door boom and it just started raining so <laughs> mama had to take that choker off and she had to take that other one off okay so I only got Oyas, just one of these of Oyas that I made myself personally. I made this for her personally, which is there's a little bit of string hanging from here. But these are what help me to harness the power to make it thunder, make it rain. And you can't just go and get them from anywhere. They have to be made by me because I am a child of Oya. I don't even want to say that. I was at the, uh, I was at the, let me talk to y'all. And this is powerful. So if you think I'm just bullshitting, watch my video on the Wisdom Wish channel. I invoke the rain. Oh, yeah. That's the title of it. I invoked the rain. Oh, yeah. And then there are some here on the Spirit Tree Nima channel too, where I actually call on my mama and summons the rain so you can see that I am the real deal conjure woman. I am the Alabama conjure woman. I don't think there is no other woman in the state of Alabama that do what I do. I ain't the greatest because there's someone that is greater than I, okay? And uh, uh, and that's God. And, uh, uh, and there's still probably some people here and there that also are witch and conjure and they do what I do. I just haven't met any of them yet, you know. And so if you find, if you find one, I'd like to see them. And I I have an old oh I have an old statement or an old motto. And my motto is, if I can't help you, I don't know nobody else that can. If I can't do it, I don't know no one else that can. And um, that's just the way it works. And I am not bragging. I am just saying, you know what I'm saying. I really ne don't know anyone else. That's like myself. I, I, I don't. I, I, I've looked 
high and low for someone that looks like me. You know what I'm saying? That looks like this, that have this. Now, I, I have noticed that, uh, and it's weird because um, I just saw a, 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 a spirit just fly that way. I have, and, and I have a lot of spirit activity. You all have seen it around me. I have noticed, and I'll call my cousin's name. Her name is Willie. I ain't going to give y'all her name. Willie, I noticed that your daughter looked just like me. That's my first cousin. Willie is my first cousin. She's a female. And I'm gonna, not going to call all of her name out for her own protection and stuff because there are people who are looking up my public record. I know one for sure is looking up my, that, that is intrigued with me enough to spend their coin <laughs> on looking me up <laughs> so that they can hook me up because it has really been a roller coaster ride because since that situation, I have had a bombardment of clients who come through and I thank the great mother that in that situation it worked out for everyone's favor because it was a little bit of riffraff going on but it was settled and I am just uh, thankful for that because I you know, some love came my way I was like oh 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 okay okay ooh, 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 Y'all gonna be like, Mama challenged the challenge, challenged, uh, channel a gorilla up in him. <laughs> but um, so thank y'all so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming here to defend mom. It worked out for every witch. All of the witches are happy. It's just that y'all don't take it too personal. The witches out here, they just, some witches just feel like they ain't going to get their fair share. And they don't realize it's enough out there for all of us. You know, the witches be acting like, like vultures out there. <laughs> it's going to be some out there for you too. So mom has to move on and, and mama just glad that the, the dust is settled so we can go on further into everything so I can get back down to it. I got some people want to know where I've been traveling lately. I got something to tell y'all, but I'm going to talk to y'all with my white face and cigar on and you ain't seen it nowhere but here with mama. Now mama paving the way so you don't have to be shamed. Mama came here First black witch and the white witches welcomed welcome me on the scene 2008. And um, I put my head down low because I thought I was going to be judged. And since then, other witches have come behind me to, to just go forward with it. So witches don't have to be afraid. But mama still ain't settled because still witches are afraid to bring their dogs out and talk to the dog. So I got to pay the way for that. And uh, 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 did y'all, if you want to watch and witness my dog walking, that video is up there. I make the dog walk with assistance. That video has gotten 36,000 views on it. No one can debunk the dog from walking because I am a black magician. And I ain't talking about my skin color. I'm talking about the nature of my work. You understand what I'm saying? I'm the black magician. I can make the dog get up and walk. I can summon supernatural demons from the pits of hell and get the fuck out their way so they won't burn me up. And this is not, I'm not just making this up. This one that I summoned, the fire demon, and it, whoo, whoo. Y'all, there's some energy in that demon. Can't nothing match that demon. Look, a lot of people be wanting to know What's more powerful? And I got to get up here and get up and get me some teeth. And y'all going to hear me talking the slave language, the language of my ancestors. You understand? And then y'all don't know what I said when I said, because I see people, I'm getting phone calls from Australia. You understand? Uh, New Zealand and Ireland and all kind of places. So if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say this, I got to get up and get me some teeth. Y'all tell them what that means. Grandma Manim, great great grandma Nim was talking about, I got to get up and get me something to eat. But they would call it sub neat. Yes, come on and get your sub neat. You know, and the reason why I think they said come and get your sub neat is it, it wasn't a full course meal, it was just something to keep the hunger pain down, you know. 
born and raised here in Alabama, ancestors of in the, uh, in the enslaved, ancestors of the indigenous, and at the same time to a product of Africa. Liberia, <laughs> Nigeria, and straight from the motherfucking Congo. That's where my black ass came from. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of every motherfucking kank up in here. Because this all these ancestors sitting up on my head. Each strand represent an individual ancestor. One of them just falling. This right here might be Uncle Jabbo. This Uncle Carnell. This ain't T. Fuck. This Uncle Bubba. This Grandma Caroline. Don't shave your hair off. You shaving off your ancestors. Anyways, though, so sometimes y'all hear them the way they talk. When they, you know, people say, why do they listen to this buffoon, this coon, this whatever they call me, this this baboon, this barracuda, this this black nothingness, this nigga beast. The nigga bitch. I'm just telling you what they call me, okay? They call me that because, guess what? They can't make it rain. <laughs> Anytime you hear somebody talking about mama, say, look, let me see you make it rain. We seen her make it rain and thunder. Show me what you can do. Show me your concha, because I'm a product of concha all day long. Grew up, born, and bred in conscious of Alabama, Georgia got family in Mississippi. I see I can dip and uh, uh most of our family come from Florida. Yes, uh y'all ever heard of uh Kingston, Alabama, all the way from Kingston, Alabama, down to what they call uh Daphne, Alabama. Daphne Island. Yeah, they ran all our asses up from out of that. So the corporations can come in and, and do they do. Laying all out there in Orville. They took the land from us in Orville. They took the land from us in Selma. They've been running our asses since. Taking the land from all around. I heard they finna take the land from Atlanta. Y'all better get ready now. Cause gentrification is coming to a chocolate city near you. A great God in the morning. Oh yes it is. I saw a tornado the other day. Yes, I did in a daytime sleeping vision. Coming through to wipe out another city. Yes, Lord. And amen. Okay, don't get me to preaching up in here. Also a product of, of the Catholic Church, the Baptist Church. And the AME Zion Church. And for y'all who don't know what the AMZ, AME Zion Church is, that is the African American, the African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church of God. Yes, Lord. And uh, don't y'all get me to preaching up in here because the ancestors beginning. I'm, I'm also a product of, of a lot of a product of a lot of evangelists and preachers and pastors my brother is a pastor and uh so they use theirs you know i got one witchy brother but they use theirs to um to 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 service the church the people that way i say it's all the same thing but anyways y'all y'all got me i was about to get happy i was about to get possessed up in here y'all don't let me get up and start holy dancing and i want for all of you all who have been misled about uh conjure and hoodoo magic i want you all to know that most of us that are in conjure we believe in god we believe in the bible we we do go to church so we are in right up in the church conjuring you know conjuring what we want we will pray and ask god to heal you and turn around if you rub us the wrong way we'll ask satan to destroy you now see they they get the christians in the closet with that they do do that you have to watch them now because they're good and dangerous and stuff down here they hangs the head down low when you talk to them and shit. 
They hangs their head low and then they go in their car closet and they pray and ask the Lord to strike you down. That's who do for you. No, don't come looking to, because some people think they can come. I see a lot of folks moving in behind me down here to Alabama. It, it's not a place where everybody's just sitting out talking about conjure. Conjure is something that a lot of people don't share with you. Plenty, plenty of people come practice conjure down here of all colors, okay? They be black, they be white. And it's not a, 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 it's not just a black thing, okay? We also have Native Americans that they call, whatever that means. I guess them the Native, that the people they chose to give the reparations to. Because <laughs> my uh, grandmother was a full blood Cherokee. <laughs> yes, she was. And, uh... And I had Apache Indians and everything else, but if you if you the kind that look like they with the nappy hair and you got a little African blood mixture in them, they say you don't get nothing. <laughs> you know, but they don't realize that you know we were smart enough to come over here in our own ships way before Columbus even thought about coming in this direction. Matter of fact, we uh the, the we led him over here. We told him to come over here. You know, with some more of us over here, some good land. You understand? And that's the mistake they made. See, so called, see, they, they were able to bring their, their, their the Africans were able to get on boats and come over here and they self and settle. So it was some more, it was already some so called melanoids over here in this area. Let's set the record straight now. So, you know, uh, we just didn't come here. All of us just didn't come here on the boat. Some of them in our bloodline, all our bloodlines, don't care what color you is. You understand what I'm saying? Shake that tree and see what falls out of it. <laughs> Ain't nobody here pure. Ain't no pure. The pure is jet blue black. That's what color that is. The blue, blue, blue black ones. And them the ones going to be here when y'all is gone. I seen one come up out of a volcano. Heat don't mess with that. Yeah, we'll melt in the heat. But them blue black ones ain't. Go to them remote villages where they raise in the dead. You die, they able to raise you up and they levitate and shit. Yeah, go and check that shit out. <laughs> you don't want to just go up in there, honey, because they, 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 they are head hunters. They will cut you, chop your head off. But anyway, I said all of that. Let me come back to this right here. I just had to introduce myself a little bit, family, to the new people who come here. I am a conjure woman. Born and bred once again in hoodoo. So you'll see me pick up a Bible and read it to you in a minute, okay? You might see me filming in church. I don't know who been teaching y'all hoodoo, but the real to-do, you, you get that right here. You come to the South and get that. You get that. But people are practicing it all over, but North Carolina, South Carolina, it ain't openly discussed. So don't come moving down here thinking that you're going to be just surrounded by people doing hoodoo because they're not going to greet you. They're not going to be kind to you. They're very secretive persons. Even to me, they're secretive. Okay? I'm not welcome here neither because I moved here and I'm not quite welcome here neither. Why? Because these people fear their land down here being taken by us and others and being commercialized. I already saw a Six Flags coming soon here, and uh, the sign was down, so we don't know how true that is. But people here that are indigenous to this area I am in are very fearful that it's no longer going to be theirs, you know. Oh, look at that beautiful butterfly. Oh, you capture my eye. Beautiful butterfly. Um, so I had my fingers up. Oh, we call them fingers. Yeah, not fingers, but fingers. They they practicing my lingo, so I just got to look like I'm going to change everything. Y'all, let me tell you something before I get to calling out these different um states. I went to this lake and uh, got happy. For y'all who don't know what that mean, happy mean possessed. We can't say we want under possession like we would have said in the Congos. You know, I was possessed by Papa Leba. We would say I got a little bit happy in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit got in me. See, we had to change that. You know, we can't say we psychics and mambos and uh, bocors. We can't say stuff like that. We have to say, what well, we have to say, we have to say we are uh, prophetess and prophets. 
But I think they're all the same. What y'all think? But anyway, I got a little happy in the spirit, Lord. And I went down to the lake. Lord, have mercy. I'm freestyling. Something came over me. Y'all don't hear me now. I say something came over me. I put on the radio. And I heard a band called Rebirth Brass Band. Look at y'all neighbors and say, check out a Rebirth Brass Band. I played the music and the devil got in me. Yes, he did. I heard the trombone singing and the trumpet singing too. And Lord, I heard the instruments of the voices of every last one of my brethren as they brought forth the Holy Spirit. Something got down in me and my soul and it traveled to my arms, my fingers, and it traveled down to my legs, my knees, and my feet, and my toes. <laughs> and then I got to step in to the sound of the drums. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me now. And I just got my feet down on the ground, and I began to dance. I danced in the Holy Spirit, y'all. I danced like mama and great, great, great grandmama and great, great, great pappy now. <laughs> y'all can't hear me now. I say I want you to look over at your neighbors and say she got happy in the spirit and uh, it traveled to her arms and her feet. Lord have mercy. And everybody got to looking at me and staring at me like what it done come over her. I say y'all might not know what's going on but I'm happy in the Lord. I'm happy in the Lord. Yes, that's what happened to me. Y'all ever listen to music and just got happy, and you just couldn't, you just couldn't hold your muse, or Neil Hiss Hurston, and y'all look over at your neighbors, and that that's an old term they say in church. Yeah, when you're in church, the pastor say, look at your neighbor and say, I don't know about you, but I came here for my blessing, and the neighbor look at you and say, I don't know about you, but I came for you know. But I also need to give that to, uh, uh, she brought it to the Airways of YouTube, Fame versus Sacrifice. I love her channel. Check her out. Uh, she's dropping that conj on y'all asses. Boom! And if you want some conj, go up in there. You understand? I'm going to call out the people I know got the supernatural power like I do. You understand what I'm saying? I just know her work when she's giving it to you. That's the way we do it down south. I know that for sure. She writes. She can see. I can tell the people who talking about it, and they ain't about it. And I can tell the people who resonate with me. I'm not saying they ain't got them. Just saying I know who resonate with me and who don't. And uh, so anyway, some came to me and said, you know what? You changed the vibrations of that that place over there in that lake and everything. Folks are going to follow. That's gonna be happy in the spirit and bring something brand new to that little area over there you know sound changes the vibration of wherever you go you can go and invoke spirits in different areas and places now that's conjure for you you understand what i'm saying i also would like to give a shout out to uh, someone that i uh, deeply admire i'm watching them and um and they're preaching the same doctrine or teaching the same doctrine i'm not gonna say 100 percent because they may disagree but I think they're teaching some truth and there let's put it like that and that's what I'm all about truth that not that kind that sugary and sweet and causes cavities that's how come all these feelings y'all see in my mouth right now all them are feelings because sweetening ain't good for you the truth shall set you free and I would like to give a, a shout out to badass witches okay 
like to give a shout out to Badass Witches. Uh, Y'all need to go out there and listen to her because she is definitely bringing about the truth. And as I say, also one of my other sisterins is Ron Rabbit Ron. She's a lot like myself also as she turned that ground so that we can eat. We could have us some tea, like Grandma and them said. And y'all better learn from her. Y'all better learn. Y'all watch us in this God. Y'all learn, learn from us because we going back to a time. And I'm just doing this right here because when I get like that in the spirit and stuff like that, I can actually feel the tingling all up and down my arm as possession tried to take over me. It's a tingling sensation. and Like you're going to leave your body and something else is coming in and I have to turn myself down from that. And I do get like that when I, when I conjure and when I do my work and everything. But I just want to give her that shout out. And uh, another sister that I'm watching and I'm enjoying is South Keys beautiful artwork and her work looks just like her just as beautiful as can be and i also would like to give a shout out to um y'all i'm working on another one of these i made this from um from a clay with my own god-given hands and i'm doing another uh only thing about it is when they twist like that i hope they can untwist themselves you know what I'm saying? You know, but I'm going to attach more strings. And I made all of these. I'm going to attach these little ones at the end here. And um, anybody I left out, and if, if there's anyone I left out, I definitely will be, you know, bringing them to your attention. I don't want to leave nobody out. So I haven't gotten through giving out shout outs. Um... Somebody I was looking at, they don't turn a full devout Christian. You know who you are. I'm trying to see what you're going to do right now. So I can't talk about you right now because uh, you don't went from conjure straight to some else, girl. <laughs> you, you over there getting happy, ain't you, honey? You happy in the church. You know who you are, girl. Yes, honey. She done pulled the Bible out. She reading scriptures and everything. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But it don't seem like she going to swing back. You know, seems like she's a... Uh, She's wearing the hats and the shoes and everything. She's at she's in the church. In the church. But, you know, um, I want people to get mixed up, think I'm talking about them. You know, I'm talking about a person that told me that they're going to church every Sunday. They're back into the Christian church and everything and stuff like that, you know. And so anyway, me and her don't have any beefs with each other, so people won't get it confused. Everybody wants me to be talking about them. And um, I'm not talking about anyone else unless they deserve a shout out. Because I noticed that when you cause these wars and stuff, people start winning. You know, you could be talking about somebody and the people start winning. So, you know, it's only fair that the people who are really doing things that I myself appreciate and want for myself, that I only give them the credit. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so no, it's no one in 